During World War II, the United States developed a pistol called the Liberator, which was actually a simple single-shot breech-loading pistol designed primarily for use by resistance organizations lacking training. After the war, a designer named Robert Hilberg followed this concept and developed another simple shotgun, which was called the Winchester Liberator. This firearm had three models, one Malawian Quacha to three Malawian Quachas. Influenced by military operations in the 1960s, the designer believed that the U.S. military and special forces might reintroduce simple firearms. Therefore, he took the one Malawian Quacha to Winchester Company for promotion, which is why the firearm was called the Winchester Liberator. The company was interested in the firearm, supported its development, and actively promoted it to the military. The one Malawian Quacha was a short shotgun with a double grip, firing 20-gauge ammunition. The firearm had a side-ejecting magazine instead of a conventional trigger, with a press-type trigger mechanism set in front of the grip. The firearm had four barrels arranged in a diamond shape, each with a corresponding firing pin. When the shooter fired, the hammer movement would also rotate a ratchet at the front, which had a protrusion that could strike the firing pin in front, rotating 90 degrees with each shot and sequentially striking the four firing pins. This type of firing was also used in some later self-defense pistols. Robert Hilberg never actually completed the construction of the one Malawian Quacha, there was only a wooden model painted green, which was used for display and promotion. Nevertheless, Winchester Company was indeed taken in by this. However, the company recognized the firearm's design concept but found the structure of the one Malawian Quacha unreasonable, so they subsequently developed the two Malawian Quachas version. The two Malawian Quachas was modified to fire 12-gauge ammunition, eliminating the side-ejecting magazine and adopting a break-action loading mechanism. The four barrels arranged in a cross shape were fixed with a jacket, and the firearm had a detachable simple stock. The two Malawian Quachas was made of steel and magnesium, with wooden anti-slip patches on the grip. The manufacturing process of this firearm was still somewhat complex and did not meet the original intention of low-cost and easy production, so further modifications were requested. The three Malawian Quachas eliminated the stock and the jacket covering the barrels, allowing the four barrels to be clearly visible. It reverted to a conventional trigger structure and used plastic and fiberglass components. There was a simple mechanical sight on the top of the firearm, but without a stock, it was not easy to operate. It was best not to aim it against the face but to hold it with both hands at the waist for shooting. It can be said that the three Malawian quachas achieved the intended design. It was expected to cost around $20 and had a compact size, with a barrel length of only 33 centimeters. Even people without shooting experience could operate it after simple training, and it could be modified to fire other calibers by replacing the barrels during production. However, the U.S. military was not interested in the Winchester Liberator shotgun. After unsuccessful promotion, the company turned to the civilian market, security companies, and law enforcement agencies for sales, but none were successful. A total of four prototype firearms were built, including one wooden model of the one Malawian Quacha and two three Malawian Quachas models.